Analyzing technology. In Unit 1, you considered the features that users would be looking for in your app design. The next stage of developing your app is to consider how users will experience your app. Think about a time you've used a search engine. Your experience included not only your interaction with the search engine interface, but also the usefulness of the search results. Design isn't just about how a product looks and feels, it's also about how it works. How your app works will depend on the data you're collecting and the way your program works with that data. Bias, often unintentional and unconscious, can find its way into both aspects of the app. Consider car safety ratings. These ratings are meant to enable better informed purchase decisions because they help people understand how safe different cars might be in the event of an accident. But, as it turns out, seatbelt and crash testing relies heavily on large, male-presenting crash dummies, which means that the data behind car safety ratings is strongly biased towards the safety of typical male drivers, and that safety innovations are more effective for typical male drivers. Since the data set that informs car safety ratings is biased, the user experience that people kept safe in car crashes is also biased. These biases may reflect unconscious assumptions about who drives cars, but ultimately, they can have a negative impact on the experiences of particular groups and individuals who don't match the physical characteristics of a typical male. The algorithm used by a program can also be biased. Imagine a financial institution that allows new pro adopts a new program for determining the financial risk of potential customers. The program is intended to benefit the bank and its investors by reducing the number of bad loans. The algorithm factors in zip codes as a variable and assigns higher risk to neighborhoods with a higher population of a certain race or gender. While this approach may reduce the risk of the bank and improve the outcomes for investors, it also may prevent qualified individuals from accessing loans simply because they live in a certain zip code. Development of algorithms that includes bias, whether or not it's intentional, raises ethical concerns for many groups in society. As a way of combating existing human biases, programmers should endeavor to check for and reduce bias in the datasets and algorithms they use. Analyze this. Watch this video from WWDC to learn how Apple designs the overall experience with apps that rely on machine learning. 1. How can bias affect your app's experience? Your app experience. 2. What are the ways that developers at Apple have worked to ensure that they are fair and inclusive in their data collection and algorithm design?